Hey guys, what's going on? Today I want to be showcasing one of my mod managers for SimCity 5 I've made. Um, see, I'm, I'm pretty beginnerish at programming, you know. I've only done it for like a year or so. And I'm only in high school too, so... Don't expect it to be much, but, you know, I'll get better over time. This is just like a really, really early alpha uh, release, just to show you guys. So basically, uh, I got the application right here. <laughs> no ma um, no icons or anything, you know, just really, really bare bones version. But the functionalities are pretty cool. Now, uh, this is more intended for, you know, beginners to modding or, you know, just people in general. If you, if you really want organization or something like that. So open it up. Uh... Don't worry about that uh, error. So basically, when you start up your mod, this is gonna be this is what it's gonna look like. Now, the first time you run it, you're gonna be met with uh, something like this. So basically, what you do is you go browse for your uh, SimCity 5 folder. So for me, it's under Origin Games, and it's right here, SimCity. Don't click any of like these inside folders just the outside folder and click done and now that's good now uh, to once you start it up some there's gonna be a folder in your documents it's gonna be like this you don't you don't want to touch this okay uh, because if you delete stuff in it it could really mess things up because uh, I haven't put anything inside of the mod that detects that yet so so basically, all you have to do is open it up, or add file. As you can see, I have two mods right here. I got the bridge tunnel mod, the train station. I have more in my downloads. So we can open this up. And once you enter a name for your mod, you could uh, name it anything. And it's press OK. And it, uh, it uh, saves here. It uh, displays here in this available mod section. And as you can see, it gets added to the the storage mod folder in the in your documents now to install it you could either do right click install or you could click this button and as you can see this is the SimCity data folder it installs right away now installing is really easy you could either right click uninstall or uninstall press the uninstall button and it's gone so it's pretty cool you can add a lot of mods as many mods as you want install it see I recommend when you're installing mods to not rename it because uh, it could maybe potentially cause some un like a compatibility issues with other mods but if you really want to rename it then I guess you can I, it won't really affect anything uh, okay so you see I have this offline mod right here can add that and as you can see these two are on but bridge tunnel is not on so you can install that too as well so pretty cool functionality I like it a lot of course because I made it uh, oh you can always browse folder and from the mod manager itself you can launch the game and the game will launch I'm going to add a how to use uh, soon and also I'm going to add like zip file compatibility or like raw files because when you download mods it uh, it goes in this format a raw file so I'm gonna you know implement something that can change that like it can unpack that raw file so basically lots of st features coming soon once I learn how to do it of course but for now if you want to give it a shot, there's a download link in the description below. Then, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Oh, yeah, one more thing. If you exit it and uh, open it back up, your mods are still there. So you, have to, you don't have to do any manual work. So, anyway, thanks, guys.